Hey everybody, um, Andrew Walker here. Um, another week, man, another awesome time to get close to God and, and just see what God's doing in your life. I wanted to talk to you about a familiar phrase you hear all the time, let go and let God. And have you ever asked yourself, what kind of things should we be letting go of? And what things should we not let go of? Um, what things should we actually hang on to um, as we're walking with God? But So let's look at it for a minute. If you think about Matthew chapter 11, um, Jesus says, come to me, all you who are heavy laden, those of you that are burdened, and I will give you rest. He says, take my yoke upon me that's easy and my burden that's light. Um, so we are to let go of all the cares and weights and those kinds of things. We're not to come underneath the weights of this world, the cares of this world, the weights in our lives. Um, whenever we feel ourselves underneath a weight, whether it's finances or relationships, uh, whether it's goals or family or circumstances, um, we'll begin to get frustrated when we come underneath that. We'll begin to not only feel frustrated, but discouraged, anxious, and beat up spiritually. And these are signs of, these are things we need to let go of. Remember, we don't come underneath the weights and cares of this world. We give those things up to the Lord and we trust God to handle it, which means we don't try to control it. We don't try to manipulate the situation. These are all things that we do to bring ourselves underneath this world when we're supposed to be looking at it from a heavenly perspective. So when you feel that, those are things you need to let go of. Um, we are designed to have a relationship with God. We were designed to have a relationship with a God who cares for and carries all of our burdens. So just remember that. Um, let him have all the pressure. Let him have all the details because for him, it isn't pressure at all. Um, so, so let go of the things that maybe you feel feeling like you're, you're coming underneath. Um, but there are things that we're not supposed to let go of. So let's look at some of those for a moment. Um, never let go of the joy of the Lord because it's your strength. And so when you feel the joy of the Lord being stolen from you or taken away, don't let go of that. Go, go after it, keep it, bring it to yourself. Never let go of seeking first the kingdom um, and his righteousness. Um, the Bible says that the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Spirit. Never let go of that. Never let go of our relationship with God. Even when we feel far away, pursue him because he's not far away. He just wants to see, will you keep going? Will you push? Um, never let go of loving God first and loving others. Never let go of being a child of the King. Always hold on to how good God is. Never let go of this thing. Um, and just remember that all the pressure and demands, uh, give all those up to the Lord. All of that lays on Him. And that's right where He wants to be. He wants to be the one carrying the load. So remember that. Um, don't let go of promises and prophetic words that you have. But let go of everything else that's bringing you underneath the weight. Be blessed. That's what you let go of and what you don't let go of. Love you guys and talk to you soon.